Welcome back to the channel everyone. This video will be covering a project Reliable Pump and Well was contracted to do in Troy, New York. It consisted of 90 450 foot deep geothermal wells, all of which had to be looped and grouted. The machines being used in this project are two Epiroc TH60 drill rigs, along with a Western Star, an International, and a brand new to the fleet Bobcat skid steer. This project is expected to take a little over a month to complete and is well on its way. The first step of any geothermal project is, of course, to drill the hole. Using an 8 inch hammer bit, a pilot hole is drilled down to the bedrock. Inside the drill bit and drill rod are hollow. This allows the machine to force water and air to the bottom of the hole, keeping the bit lubricated and bringing the cuttings to the top. Once the hammer bit is drilled down, another drill rod is attached and the driller continues to measure two feet at a time to know how much steel casing will need to be set. In this hole, bedrock was hit 28 feet down. Once the driller knows he has bedrock, he can trip all his tools out of the hole and begin setting the casing. The casing is a six inch steel pipe that goes all the way down to the bedrock. It is set to prevent the loose topsoil from caving in the hole. The casing comes in 20 foot sections. The first piece of pipe is dropped off the truck and the helper will wrap the casing with the strap. The strap is then connected to the winch and the casing is hoisted up and slowly lowered into the hole. A driver is also placed at the top of the drill pipe in case the casing needs to be hammered down. Once the first piece of pipe is in the hole, it can be clamped at the table and the second eight foot piece of casing can be hoisted up. The casing is then screwed together using chain wrenches. Now the pipe is ready to be driven all the way to the bottom of the hole. Finally, with the six inch hammer bit inside the casing, the driller can attach the drill rods and begin drilling in the bedrock. This TH60 drill rig has 180 feet of drill pipe in the carousel behind the drill head. Once this drill rod is used, the helper will hoist up each piece of drill pipe from the trough and load it in the single rod holder. We used a special design lifting cap called the Murphy plug for this operation. It is designed only to release once the pressure is off the drill rod. When the hole is done, the crew can begin pulling all their tools out of the hole. 
The drill rod that were in the trough can be pulled out using the winch and the Murphy plug. The driller lifts one section at a time and breaks the rod free using a PTOL wrench. Once it is broken free, the drill rod is spun the rest of the way using the rod spinner. The winch is rotated over towards the trough and the helper will throw the drill rod down the chute. As the helper lowers the drill rod, it will slide down the chute until it falls on top of the other drill rod in the trough. Next part of the process is dropping the loop. The new Bobcat skid steer played a crucial part in this process. We loaded the loop rail up and moved it over to the hole using the skid steer. Once in position, a straight piece of pipe is taped to the end of the loop to make sure it goes straight down the hole. A casing guard is also placed at the top of the casing to make sure the pipe doesn't rub on it as it's going down. This application called for an inch and a quarter loop to be dropped down the hole 450 foot deep. Everyone works together dropping the loop and cutting away the tape. Eventually, the loop won't go down any further since it is filled with air and there is water in the hole. This will make the loop want to float out. In this situation, water needs to be pumped into the loop so it will sink down to the bottom of the hole. Once the loop is in, the casing guard can be removed and the loop ratcheted to the casing to make sure it stays down.
The last part of a geo hole is grouting it up. The helper will put the inch and a half trimmy line to the bottom of the hole, forcing the grout to fill the hole from the bottom up. For this project, we use the Model 3500 Geo Looper to mix the batch. The batch consists of two bags of grout to every two and a half bags of graphite. The grout being used had a conductivity rating of 1.6. Once the batch is thoroughly mixed, it is pumped down the tremie line to the bottom of the hole. As the hole is being filled, the worker can slowly reel up the tremie line till the entire hole is grouted up. Then they can move on to the next hole. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you've enjoyed this content and if you wish to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.